Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll explore Tableau Server and see what are the different options we got after publishing a workbook. Okay, so to publish a workbook, either you can go to your dashboard and click on this server part and click on publish workbook. Okay, so to do that first, you need to sign in. The detailed process of how to publish a workbook, I, have, I will you know, share the link in the description of this video. So here, as an example, I have already signed into my server. And in that, I'm going to my explore area where I have published a few reports. In that, I'm going to dev folder here. So as an example, I'm selecting line and chart here. So this is how a dashboard will look like to the end user here. And he might be interested in interacting with this report or with this dashboard. So first thing is downloading data, very important option to know. Okay, so if I want to download the data or if an end user want to download the data, he can directly click on the download option. And here are the different options that we can see here. Again, based on the permissions that we have at the server, these options will be visible or disabled or available or disabled. You see currently data is disabled. Suppose if I want to export this dashboard into image format, I can directly click on this image and this dashboard will be exported into image. So from here, he can copy this image and he can take, you know, paste it into his PowerPoint presentation and present the story to the end user or to the management. Suppose user is interested in downloading the data. Suppose I am clicking here and this is June month. If I click here and assume I want to download the data, click on download. Now you see here data tab is now enabled. So if I click on this, you see, it is showing data for June, which is 52,981. And this is summary data. Suppose if user is interested in knowing the full data, they can click on this full data. So all the individual rows, like whose sum will come up to 52,981 are listed here. So you can directly download the, you can click on this download all rows as text file and the entire data will be downloaded into a CSV file here. Now, if I open, this is how the download data will look like. Year of order date, month of order date, and sales. So if I see the sum, it is matching with our value 52,981. Okay, so that's about downloading the data here. So likewise, we have different options here. Image, data, cross tab, PDF, PowerPoint, and Tableau workbook. So these are the different ways we can export our data based on the end user's requirement. We can download the data or from his uh, permission level, he can also download the data from his level also. Okay, so that is download option. Next important option is sharing. So sometimes, you know, user might ask you where is the report? Now just give me the report link. So either you can directly copy this web URL and share him over an email or chat wherever you want. You can share it this way or you can click on this share button and here directly you can Subscribing like I'm entering the email and clicking on share. So when I do that, an alert is sent to the user stating that you have been invited to this server to view this report. So that is one way. If not, again, another method, if I click on the share method, here we have share using a link. I can directly copy this link and paste it in server. That is another method. Or suppose if, if uh, you know, the intention is to embed this dashboard in another application, then you need to share this embed code. So there is a difference in this. So I'm copying this link here and let us paste it here. Now you see this is in a different format, HTTPS and all. But now again, I'm copying this embed code here. So I'll paste it here. So observe the difference. So there is a difference in how the embed code is generating the link and our simple link is generating. So this is mostly similar to how our web URL is. Okay. So this is about your sharing option. Next important option is edit option. So this is called as web edit. So like in earlier versions, if there were any small request, I mean, even for small request, we used to download the report, make the changes and again, publish the report to the server. That was the standard process that we used to do. But now with the you know, level of permissions, edit option is available at server only. Now assume we got a small enhancement request for this. 
client said that you know instead of this line chart you know rahul convert it into bar chart so i can click on this edit button here so there are now the report will be editing in the server itself okay now we are not downloading or changing anything now i want to go to the sheet and convert it into bar chart here so instead of multiple i am converting into bar chart here and let us decrease the size little bit here and now i am going to my dashboard again and from here i am just after making whatever the changes you want you can click on this close button here that is available on the top right side so when you click on that you get a pop up here asking you to save the workbook so if you want to save the changes you can click on save if you don't it don't save i'm clicking on save the changes now we have directly edited a workbook in the server and we have saved the workbook in the server itself okay so which means we are saving lot of time here one important option next important is commenting here okay again it depends on what kind of permissions you have if you have, if this commenting is enabled you will see suppose if i want to write some comments i can write it here or if i want to mention someone i can mention like refresh uh, i am writing some comment like report is not refreshed still showing old data some comment i have mentioned random so if at all you want to mention someone at uh, i see it is showing the list of users again i am i am tagging the user who is responsible for this report now an alert will be sent to that user who will in turn see the comment and will try to act on this report so that's how comment will can be used effectively okay now some next option is subscribe now assume end user is asking you to you know send me an, an alert whenever the data refreshes or at a particular time every day then we can use this subscribe button to send him notification every day so click on this subscribe here we have different options so you either you can add users or group directly here okay and then what do you want to include whether this view or the entire workbook you can select so for now i am selecting only this view and then what is the format that you want to send image format pdf or both so i am selecting pdf and after that size and all we can select if i scroll down any message that you want to write you can write in the message box and what is the frequency of the schedule that you can right here like uh, and after that one day a week or if i click on that i we will get different options you see repeats daily and every day at 525 which means every day at 530 this report will be triggered for re refresh and it will send an alert to the user whoever are there in this subscribe list so like again now here i am subscribing myself and click on subscribe button so that's how we can send notification to user whenever there is change in the data okay and uh, yeah so that's and if i go to my original view here maybe back side these are the different options that are available for that workbook data sources if i click on that it will show what are the data sources that you have used in that particular report or particular workbook so currently we have used only one workbook that's why it is listing only one workbook or oh, sorry one data source if at all you have multiple data sources it will list out multiple data sources at this place in this place okay if there are any refreshes and then it will show here so currently this report is not uh, scheduled to refresh so it is not showing if at all you want to schedule that you can click on this new extract refresh and you can schedule the report to run at any point of time like i want to refresh this report repeats like this is the frequency of the report that you want to refresh hourly daily weekly or monthly so i want to run daily once so every day like again you have frequency here 2 hours 4 hours 6 hours 8 hours so this has a time frame that it can run on so i'm selecting daily once at 5:30 okay and if at all you want to select multiple days like i want to run this only on working work days and not on weekend so i can select 
the days that I want to run here. So I've selected the report to run every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at this point. And you can click on create. Now you see a refresh is created here. Okay. Now every day at this time, the report will run and it will refresh the data. So that's how we can schedule a refresh or we can create a refresh. Now suppose some users comment us that again, you know, a report did not work or you no know, report did not run successfully. Then you can come to this location and you can manually run this. Click on run now. And the report will run now at this point of time. Now suppose you want to delete the refresh, click on this and click on delete the refresh. Now we have deleted the ref uh, refresh for this report. Okay, again, important option here. So any subscriptions, it will show in the subscriptions. So just now we have added, you know, this user to the subscription list, it is showing. Okay, so that's it from my side in this video. Hope you liked it. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.